This week we went from the paradisiaca island of Pumirim all the way to the colonial town of Paraty. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Today we are going back to the same place we were before, Itagua, because tomorrow we are going to rent a car and visit another place. What a beautiful day! Today we're going to do something different. We have everything! We have three people, a dog, a bicycle, two bottles of water, everything. Yes, we're ready. We're ready because we need someone to go far to pick up our car. We rent <laughs> a car today. Let's do it. Saving a dinghy. First adventure of the day. Yeah, this is the start of the day. We found the owner already. <laughs> that was quick. This was quick. <laughs> Fernando takes Loba all the way to the grass and now she's here. <laughs> you broke my dog. <laughs> Let's go. I was pull pulling her to go to the, the end of the deck and she was pulling back and pulling me back to Duke. Someone didn't want to go into the end of the deck. Mm. Miss you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love a roll on the top of something that smells really bad. She's smelling really bad. Here we go. You know, like when you live on a boat, you don't wear pants, but when you go to the upper mental building to do like some bureaucracy, you need to have pants. <laughs> do you know how to dress uh, this? Not sure. <laughs> he forgot, he forgot. <laughs> you have no, no idea. You have no idea how to dress these pants. You look funny now. <laughs> Welcome to part two. See you, good luck. I'm gonna leave you here now. <laughs> So tell us the story about the party. I have no idea what's the story about party. Tell me the story <laughs> about party. I've been here twice in my life. One was like 
25 years ago maybe the other one was like 16 years ago so i have no idea it was colonized by portuguese people yeah you can tell <laughs> I read that this was the first building of this place. In my opinion, Paraty is a must-visit city in Brazil. It is a city that makes us think about what was life in Brazil in the old days. It's a place that you can find cool stores, restaurants, cafes, hotels, hostels, waterfalls and beaches. But we can talk more about this when we come here with Odd. It's a place that you always need to walk looking to the floor because the rocks are like this. So all the streets are built like this. There is a, like a, a ramp. So when the tide is up, the tide comes and takes all the things with the tide. In the past, you used to take the sewage. People used to throw sewage through the windows to the streets. Nowadays, they don't throw the sewage anymore, but the tide still come up because the, the, the road is lower than the yeah. ocean, actually. We found a guide. Yeah, the cool thing about traveling on our own country is that we meet friends that it's been years that we don't see. And this store is where a friend of mine that I don't see for over, I would say like 17 years maybe, she lives in town now and she works on this store. So we came to visit her store that's really cool because they sell uh, handmade stuff made by Indians, local Indians. So everything on the store is made by Indians. That's pretty cool. And they are beautiful. What do you have there? So good. Mussel shrimp squid. Yeah, it's been a long time we don't eat squid. <laughs> Missing some squid. Yeah. <laughs> what are you carrying, babe? Leftovers, our dinner. <laughs> The food was so much food that we have a lot. This is like heavy. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. good. You don't need to think about dinner tonight. I don't know which one of them had the idea of trying to win the lottery. So we are walking for hours under the sun. Hours, like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we need to win the lottery. That's it. Can we play? I just want to play on the lottery. We, who knows? We might win. Are you going to win? not allowed to gamble as I passed through the ladder. <laughs> yeah. In Brazil we say that if you go under a ladder you were gonna get bad luck so Hobart didn't gamble but we have a deal that if he wins I get one third of his money if I win I get he gets one third of my money so we're gonna all go to Indonesia that's it that's all. How about the other third? Okay. It's yours. Ah, I'm, I'm oh. participating. No no, really, no 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 you ha you're participating on my money. So you're part of me it's the same thing. It's half. Yeah. What's the plan if you earn the money? 130 million? Oh. We're gonna go to Indonesia to think about life again. <laughs> because it's gonna be a different level of thinking. You know, like when we started the channel, we went to Indonesia and we sat there for two months thinking what do we want to do for life. But we had no money. This time we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna have a lot of money. We met a friend in Guarujá where we refitted our boat that was refitting his boat as well. And he owns his, this ice cream place right now. The problem of flying the drone on the streets that 
it's hard to find the drone later because it's all the same. All these streets are so similar. They are so beautiful. Oh, it's gonna be an easy place to find the drone. <laughs> Another project day. We have a lot of little projects that we left behind and one of these projects is to finalize the reefing lines for the main sail. We fixed the sail, now we need to install the lines back and also we need to install these things. If I don't use this little ring to change the way the line is gonna go down, the line compress the sail and it's gonna rip the sail. So I need this to guide, that's basically a guide to make sure that the line goes to the side and then goes down. We are also gonna install new blocks for the main sail, for reef one and for reef two. Let's do it. Before we keep going, I just want to take a minute to thank Surfshark for solving a problem that we always have and also for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, from time to time we travel abroad and any time we travel abroad, we always take the opportunity to bring some boat parts. Of course, it's much cheaper to buy stuff outside of Brazil than in Brazil. You guys know that already. But the problem is, when we go online to search for the parts, this always happens. Yeah, that's right, the website from West Marine won't work in Brazil. But with Surfshark, we solve this problem. Yeah, that's right. Surfshark is a VPN app and a browser extension. And VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. That means by changing our IP address, we can virtually place our computer anywhere else in the world. So even though we are still in Brazil, with one simple click, our computer is virtually in the US. That means we can use the website now. But more than that, it also encrypts all our data, making it safer for us to access our email, our bank account, our social media, or anything else, anywhere we go, without the risk of being wrecked. And there's also another perk that we love. By virtually placing our computer and our devices somewhere else in the world, that means that now we can watch some Netflix series that are not even available in our home country. That's just awesome. And you can also use Surfshark on multiple devices. But it gets even better. In a way of thanking all our subscribers for supporting us, Surfshark is giving 83% discount plus 3 extra months for free. All you need to do is to sign up using our code OUTLIFE. So now let's go back to the episode. The main problem is that when we install the reefing line, the halyard becomes the reefing line that's right here. So it goes through this low friction ring and the line goes down to a block and then goes to the cockpit. If we install the line as it is, the line always compresses the sail and it's gonna rip the sail. As you can tell, it's already with a little bit of a mark. So what we need to do is somehow install this somewhere around here. The line needs to come through this low friction ring and then somehow comes to the side through this guide and from this guide goes down so the line won't damage the sail and somehow it's gonna make sense and then just <laughs> stick with us be patient and it's gonna make sense. We decided to take one step out as we don't use this one. It's gonna open up more space now. Huh. Anyone wants one of these folding steps? Bro, 
strong reef we need to put on this one and not on the top one Before we finish the reefing, we are going to replace the blocks and the main one is the block for the, the main sail that's not working well so we are going to put the new one and see if it's better We thought we were gonna do two reef lines today, but it's moving so much, we're gonna give up the line at least for the reefs here. But this part, we need to do the threads, and the boat's moving way too much, and we're gonna move anchorage today to a much more calm anchorage. So we're gonna leave this for the next anchorage because it's just... Project number two of the day, and I hope this one goes until the end. <laughs> this hose is the freshwater hose that we shower every day, and it's leaking. So we keep losing water from the tank from here. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna install a valve. So whenever we want to close, we can close here. No water, that's pretty good. So now I'm just gonna cover this with uh, auto fusion tape just to make sure we protect our hands here and there. And also, stop this movement a little bit. What's good? I think it's a cheap and useful solution. I think it's gonna be <laughs> really good. It's the, the temporary permanent solution. <laughs> no, it's a good solution. my project, check. We're gonna try to finish another project, which is? I'm not sure if we're gonna finish, we're gonna try. <laughs> it's been a year and a half or more <laughs> that we have that I we had this idea of running this hose inside of this pipe. I'm not sure if it's gonna go through because of the welds along the way. We never try. We were like, nah, <laughs> we'll try later. We'll try later. Yeah, we postponed for a long time, but now I think it's about time to do that. You <laughs> made it. Ready? Now all we need to do is to test and to see if we have any leak anywhere. Otherwise, we are done. That's finally after like <laughs> I don't know a year and a half at least that we built <laughs> this rail and that we had the idea of doing that. We didn't do it. Now every time we raise the anchor and there is mud, we have a hose to clean the anchor. Let's try. Yeah. Are you afraid? No. A little bit. Let's do it. The pumps on. So far, so good. It's working. Good news, we have a salt water hose on the bow of the boat. That's a win. That's two wins today. We installed the valve for the fresh water and we installed the hose for the salt water. And Excellent. we almost installed the reef. The reef. Almost. But we did install new blocks. 
Yeah, they're gonna finish the reef tomorrow. You know, baby steps, baby steps.